What's up guys, in this video we are going to look at how to get clients for web design. Okay, so this is going to be fairly straightforward. Now the problem that most people do when they're trying to get clients for web design, you know, they're trying to build websites for people or whatever, is they just send the cold email straight away as like a pitch. Like, hey, my name is Bob, I have this web design company and I'd love to design your website, whatever, something like that. And that's fine, you know, you might get some people like that, but a lot of people, once they see that that's like marketing material, they're just gonna be like, oh, like, you know, screw this guy. Okay, so if you wanna know how to get clients for web design, uh, what I would do is a two-step formula, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do, step number one, I'll just write this out. I don't, I'm, I'm running different campaigns right now, so I can't show you in PygonBot, but let's say step one is going to be, um, set up a uh, dummy domain to send the emails from. Okay, this is something you always want to do when you do cold email campaign. So you always want to send it from a domain that's not your main domain. So you can buy these 10 bucks and um, just send them out from there. So that way if like, if you get, if you trigger spam filters or something like that, then you don't have to worry about your main domain getting blacklisted. Okay, step two, uh, use a female name for your outreach, okay? I've noticed that female names tend to get a better response rate than male names. Okay, step three, keep it short. So subject line should be like question or quick question or, um, you know, I don't know, something like that that implies that like you're a customer kind of. And then <coughs> in the, the message of the email, right? So the message should be just something like, who designed your website, right? Just something like that, that's like, it's kind of a neutral question. It's not, you're not coming on strong as like a salesperson. And you're also really not kind of identifying yourself as a customer. You're maybe just curious about who designed their website. And a lot of the time what you'll notice is that they'll say, oh, I did, or, you know, whatever, my nephew who is good with computers designed it in 1997, whatever, okay? So then from there, you can just go into your pitch, right? You can say, I don't know, whatever, I design websites, my websites are the best, they'll bring you new customers, blah, 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 whatever your pitch is. Okay, but that's, that's essentially the two-step process for getting clients with web design. Okay, you can use PygonBot if you want, like I've got a campaign running right here, it's for something similar for SEO, and it's again, same two-step process. Uh, subject line is question, message body, what areas do you guys service? This is for SEO, so when they hit me back, I'll say, oh, well, guess what, I can help you rank um, you know, number one spot for hair salons in Houston, or whatever, you know? Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section.